everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kayla, also known as Lux, and today I will be showing you guys how to bleach your knots. This is part one of a two-part video, possibly three if you guys want to see how I apply my wigs, but in today's video I will be showing you how to bleach your knots perfectly. So here I'm just showing you guys my transparent lace um, and what it looks like against my skin tone and what it looks like unbleached. So now I'm just gonna go in with the bleaching powder and 30 volume developer. And I'm gonna mix those two together. So a good rule of thumb when you're creating this mixture is just to keep in mind that you don't want it to be too liquidy. If you keep that in mind, then you guys will make the perfect mixture. You don't want this too liquidy because if it's too liquidy, then it'll seep through the knots and cause the roots to become blonde and even a little bit past the roots. So that's not what we're going for when we bleach the knots, we're just trying to get the black knots to be more quote-unquote invisible so just mix it up really well um, and another thing that I like to do is put some product on my brush and turn it over if product slips down the brush that means it's too liquidy um, so I just have to go back in and put some more bleaching powder in the mixture The way you apply your bleach to your knots is very, very important. You want to start at the back of the lace as opposed to the front where the hairline is. This is because the hairline processes way quicker than the back of the lace for whatever reason. I don't know if it's because it's less dense in the front or what, but it always processes quicker in my experience at the front. Um, so say if you do apply the bleach at the front first, and after you've finished with everything, you let it sit, you go back to check on it, you'll see that those knots are bleached the way you want it to, but the back is still not completely bleached. You would have to rinse that off because you don't want the front then to over bleach. So then you would just have to start all over again and re-bleach the knots. So to avoid all of that, just start from the back and go to the front. So now that that's done, what I'm doing here is just checking to see if all of the knots on the lace got bleached. This is a very important thing to do um, so there's no blotchy spots and everything is seamless. Um, another thing that I like to do is to lay the lace down, uh, bleach side down, instead of bleach side up. 
and I don't know why I just like doing it this way because I just feel like gravity comes into play if you leave it bleached side up and that will seep down to your knots uh, so I just like to keep it bleached side down um, and right here I just saw that there was some bleach that was on a couple of hair strands so what I'm doing here is just going in with a dry paper towel and wiping that off A couple of people have asked me how long I let the bleach sit on the lace and honestly guys it really just depends there's no set time um, frontals can vary they can bleach at different times some can bleach quicker some can bleach slower so the best thing to do is just check your frontal which is what I'm doing right now just get a comb and part it down the middle or part it wherever really and just see if those knots are still black. If they're still black, that means that they are not done processing and just leave it on for a couple more minutes and then just check back and do the same thing again. So here's what my frontal looks like after rinsing the bleach off of it. It is slightly brassy, but that is okay because we're going to go in with the Shimmer Light Shampoo. It is a purple shampoo that cancels out any orange tones, so it gets rid of all of the brassiness. I left this on for about 20 to 25 minutes. So here is what the frontal looks like after rinsing that purple shampoo off and it is perfect you guys. This is what your frontal should look like after you bleach the knots successfully. So I actually do make wigs um, and I do all of this customization so if you want that, um, if you don't want to do this by yourself then you can just follow my Instagram at hairbykaylux. For those of you who made it to the very end of the video, congratulations <laughs> because you guys get to see a sneak peek of what part two is all about. Um, it's about how I achieved this super pretty red color, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.